Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to create and run a Docker image of Spring Boot REST API by using Docker Compose YAML file. This video is the next part of Dockerize and Connect Postgres and PG Admin video. Please watch, then only this video will be more help. Video link in the description. As you can see here, we already created a Docker Compose file for Postgres and PG Admin in the previous video. Now, before adding any more code to this file, first we have to create a Docker file for Spring Boot REST API. So, let's create a Docker file first. Here, just adding some simple standard code. I'm using JDK 1.8 Docker image. We have to use our jar file from the target folder. And to run the jar file, command is like java minus jar and the jar file name. See, these three lines are enough to create a Docker image for the REST API. Now, open the pomxml file and just add some simple changes like packaging will be a jar and the final name will be book API. Okay, so this is done. Now, let's run this Docker file and we'll see Docker images creating or not. Currently, as you can see, we have two Docker images, one for Postgres and another for PG Admin. Let's create a Docker image using the command like docker build minus t book API and dot. And you can see image building process starts. And see, it's completed. Here, also you can see image built properly. As you saw, we created this image by using docker build command. And to run this image, again, we have to execute another command. Let's say if we want to automate this, then using docker compose, we can do that. Now, let's add the required changes in the Docker Compose file. Here, let's add another service for Book API. Now, add built and the value will be just dot. Now, add port detail. Add container name. Add environment details. So here, basically, we want to make Postgres URL dynamic. This URL, you can see the localhost. Let's replace this localhost with the Postgres service name. And this service should not execute before Postgres and PG Ad. So let's add depends on. And that's it. As we made Postgres URL dynamic, so let's use this key and replace in the application properties file. Here, either we can replace or we can make it conditional. So if in case from the environment we are not passing, then it will use the second one. Okay, so that's it. Currently, we have only two images. Let's delete this container. Now, let's run docker compose up command. Oops, some error. Let's fix. So here, the Postgres URL instead of colon, use the equal sign. That's it. Let's try again. Building process starts. And it's completed. See now, here, three images we have. And in the container also, three services are there. Two are running and <laughs> new one is failing because there is some problem to create a jar file itself. Let's see how to fix this. Actually, before run Docker Compose, we have to create a jar file. So basically, jar file is missing. Now, first run the maven clean and install command. And it's done. See now, jar file is available. First, delete the container and book REST API image. Let's again run docker compose up command. And it's done. See here the image created. And even you can see in the container, all three services are running successfully. Even we can check the log. Just click on the service. See server is started and running on 8081 port. Now let's test our React application is working or not. So let's log in. See, logged in successfully. That means REST API Docker image is working as expected. See, everything is working as expected. Let's quickly review whatever we added. I hope from this video, you learned something related to Docker and Docker Compose. That's it for this video. Please feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.